Hello, this is Christopher Noose for History of Gaming, and uh, this is to demonstrate and explain my game that I came up with. It's relatively simple, with and it doesn't require any much to play at all. You just need two dice. You can honestly just use one, but it's easier with two. Um, they can be different colors or not, it's up to you. Um, and then you need six rectangular pieces. So, and then each player gets three, and these are considered units. So, basically, each player will set up a row of units. Like so. And um, the orientation of the unit actually determines what state they're in. So um, right now, these are all in defense mode. This unit is in attack mode. And now he is in defense mode. And there's an attacking phase and a defending phase for each round. And um, the state of the units determines what number you will get when attacking. So for demonstration, I will have uh, well, and you can you can have these independently. Like you can have two attacking units and one defending unit. You can have to, all of them defending. You can have all of them attacking. You can have two defending, one attacking. It's up to you. So the objective is to destroy all of the other players' units. And how you do that is you will have rounds. Now during each round. Um, one player, or during each round, there will be two turns. Um, w during one of the turns, one player will attack. So let's say this one will attack, this one will defend. And then on the next turn, this one will attack, and this one will defend. So, um, and if any units are lost during a turn, they're not removed until the end of the round. So there's no advantage for attacking first or defending first. So, like, if if this un if this guy attacks this guy and he loses a unit, during his attack, he will still have that unit, and so he won't lose the unit until both turns are over. So, anyway, so now I will explain the combat and how that works. Is um, you will uh, let's say this guy attacks first and this guy defends. So I will roll the attack roll for this guy. That's a five. Now, since for every unit that is in attack mode during an attack roll, you will add one. So this is a five. So that's six, seven, eight. Now, in order for him to destroy a unit, he has to get three more or higher than the defending roll. So he rolled a two. So three, four, five for each defending unit. And that so he will lose a unit because he got five and he got eight. So that's three more. So he will lose a unit at the end of the round. So then, but we're not going to lose it yet because otherwise he'll be at a disadvantage for this attack. So this guy is going to attack now. So he rolled a five. And he has no attacking units, so he doesn't get an attack bonus. So it's just a five. And he rolled a three, and he doesn't have any defending units, so he it remains a three. This is only two higher than the five is only two higher than the three, so no, he this guy does not lose a unit, but this guy will because the round is over, because both players have had an attacking and defending turn. So another, besides that, there is also the ability to counterattack, and how that works is let's say he was still in the game let's let's say this guy still had this defending unit now if a player has all of their units in defense mode and a player and a player attacks them and the attack from the attacking player is too less than the defense of the defending player while they have all three of their units in defense 
then there will be a counterattack and this guy will lose a unit. So if he rolls like if he rolls a one and that gives him four, and then this guy rolls a a four and that gives him seven then since the defense is seven and his are all in defense and his is four then there will be a counterattack because it's four higher but if it was two higher or more then it would cause a counterattack so like say he rolls a one he gets two three four he rolls a four five six seven seven defense while the counterattack is up and for attack, so he would lose a unit at the end of the round. So, but also, um, if if the, he has a unit missing, but his are still all in defense, he can still counterattack. And also, um, if both players are down to their last unit, and during both of their attacking turns they defeat the other unit um, to prevent a stalemate no units will be lost and then a round will just repeat until a clear winner is found so like if he rolls a five he rolls a two if he rolls a six and he rolls a one and they both defeat each other um, since that would be a stalemate they would just continue fighting until there was a clear winner so that's pretty much it. So I guess I will just play a sample game. So attacking. Yeah, I'm doing my video. So three, four, five, six, I'm recording it. <laughs> so that's three, four, five, six. And then if it's four, three, four, five, six. So nothing. Now this one will attack. So it's four. And one. So he will lose one. Attacking. Four. Five, six, so nothing. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. So he counterattacks because they're all in defense. He loses a unit. Attacking. Five, six, seven. One, two. So he will lose a unit, but not until the end of the round. One, two. And then five. Okay, so he loses the unit. Attacking. Er, attacking. One, two, three. Two, three. So nothing. One. Well, one can't defeat anything, so. Right, attacking. Five, six, seven. Uh, four, 
So seven to four, he will lose the unit. And then attacking two, and defending. Defending five. So this player wins. Okay. Thank you.